I've always wished, hoodie tucked down tight, I was a turtle, hard shell holding innate isolation, protection, world held back by three millimeters of bulletproof shell. There would be no need for triple checked locks, well-worn woodstocks, well-meaning low rumble hounds if my mossy green back could keep pain and suffering at bay. I have a habit of maternal instinct cooing, bonding, oxytocin choke chain tight to the weakest runt, the underdog, the bird with the broken wing. So when my man, wide-eyed, brought me an injured turtle, I tried. I treated my man's turtle well, little plastic box with organic locally grown spring mix, a banana. Day one, it looked good, Jagged crack vehicular assault stopped bleeding. Banana disappeared. Day two, banana stopped playing disappearing games and back legs got lax and reflex, not quite limp, but not quite right. Day three, day three it was time. See, with a bleeding, aching, runt-loving heart comes great responsibility. At some point, you just know. I have had to break the necks of birds with broken wings. In the lives of forest creatures unfortunate enough to stumble into the headlights of angry metallic machines. I held my best friend of 10 years, his head cradled on my lap while the vet injected poison in his blood. Great responsibility. But how do you kill a turtle? Turtles come with their own protection. I should know from my lifelong fascination, idolization. Even when their tiny reptilian eyes are too weak to open, they live in a protective shell. Last night, I found myself standing over the kitchen sink, sobbing tears of turtle mourning on his tiny turtle body, butcher knife execution still laying under my shaking hands. This morning, this morning, I decided I do not want to be a turtle. The turtle shell was supposed to protect me from pain, but this isolationist position leaves me vulnerable in other ways. I want to learn to find the safety in the curve of another mammalian body. I want to let others lick my wounds. And when it comes my time, I want to welcome and accept it. I do want, not want my body to fight for breath against hands only trying to end my suffering. And I do not want to draw tears from those eventually bridled with my great responsibility.